Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, uh, we are doing a podcast, so I should go TNT, D-I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T to yeah. that bitch ass, and I can swear fuck. <laughs> I'm glad that you brought the adult language immediately. Yes. 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 So uh, thank you so much for joining us on the Crazy Town Podcast. As always, if you want to follow us on or subscribe on YouTube, Crazy Town Media. It's our gaming channel, and it has these podcasts. Also, if you want to do audio only, Spotify and iTunes are the two main places. We're on both. Search the Crazy Town Podcast, mm -hmm. and you will be able to see all of them. Yeah. We're closing in on 100, TNT. I know, man, but YouTube is closing in on <laughs> even more. <laughs> <laughs> right? God, we're garbage. What the hell is wrong with you? Do you know how much of us you can get? And right. I know that's enticing. How oh. much of us you can get if you just mm. click that little subscriber right here mm. on the YouTube and all the way back to day one. Oh, my God, Jonas. God. The first podcast is just me before you came on. And whoo. That was garbage. It's the first time I ever tried to record a podcast ever. <laughs> and today, I've been here for years, and it's still garbage. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's just doubled garbage. -y. Yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah, uh, you know, we, we we don't have a lot of news going on out here in the streets right now, other nah. than the news we're not going to talk about. No, nah, it's hard out there for the news. Um, but... So we may be talking about some old-ish that seems irrelevant during cause the current climate, but we want to bring you something to listen to so you don't have to listen to people talk yeah. about other things that are bad. I managed to find some stuff that was relatively recent, though. So like what? My good. underwear? Um, Jonas, <laughs> you've had those since high school. <laughs> I have. So uh, rock, paper, scissors, right? Let's go. Nah, dude. Let's go. That's old-ish. We're, uh, we're three episodes into season four. Now you're going to pull out the oh, old-ish? You, you don't want to do rock, paper, scissors now? No. Dude. All right, I'm thinking of a number between one and your mom. Uh, my mom. That's right, Jonas, because your mom is number one. <laughs> Deja vu, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> Goddamn mom being number one in my heart and your heart. Yeah. She's, no, you can go first. She's a got? wonderful lady. All right, <laughs> she is Jonas. A wonderful lady. Uh, you've lived in like uh like apartment buildings. Before. What are those? You know, like uh like kind of what we like what we live in now. Okay. Except like like a lot of people live in there with you. Oh, like a clown <laughs> car, but a living space. Don't don't you fuck with me today, all right? <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that. We're adults. Yes, I've lived in an apartment complex. <laughs> all right, you ever had like just like some shitty neighbors, just like really bad neighbors, and maybe you've been that bad neighbor yourself? No, dude, I don't think I've ever been the bad neighbor. I'm not a very loud guy. Yeah, I don't have parties. Maybe like when I had like my place that everyone came and partied at, my neighbors probably hated oh, me yeah, then. Yeah, give me give me a bad neighbor. Okay, bad so neighbor in story. I only have had two bad neighbors. And they were both actually from the same apartment when I lived in Cleveland in Parma. Uh, the one... Pardon. Wow. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that shit. I, I aimed away from the microphone. All right, fair enough. <laughs> so th we shared a bedroom wall, and they would listen to music really loud, like to the point that I could hear it in my bedroom, like I was listening to it on my stereo. Yeah. And then there was their fuck noises over top of it. So it was oh. like fucking and awful music so they're just adding their own like f uh, sexy time ad libs yeah dude it was all <laughs> it was like it was like i was playing mad libs but every blank was them moaning no, <laughs> no. What, were th what kind of music was it uh r&b that i had never heard before. oh hell yeah some casey and jojo no, with some fuck dude, noises in like, the background no, no, no. that's good man it was like and that like goes together. it was like industrial pop or something. It was really weird. Is that even a thing? Boom, boom. It was like Korean pop and Nine Inch Nails mixed no, together. Dude, K-pop and anal sex. Nothing beats it. <laughs> nothing beats anal like <laughs> K-pop. Well, yeah, that, I, I guess that's that's a pretty bad neighbor. Um, yeah. I remember when I was living in Erie, PA. Okay. Uh, I cohabitated with a person who had their own home. Yes. Next to us lived uh, uh let me just set the scene for you there's this <laughs> a skinny man okay i don't need to reveal race okay. skinny man tattoos all over his body um look like he may have done meth once or twice in his life or every day i'm not here to judge uh glasses bald head just kind of and he had a wife complete teeth over under nine um oof, oof. <laughs> Equal to, <laughs> um, he had a girlfriend slash wife slash fiance slash uh, woman who pet, lived with him. Pet. She pet. was she was obviously an, an, an overweight woman. He had she her was, call her around her and drug her around the yard of the leash. Yeah, she was an overweight woman. Uh, 
needed help, some assistance with mobility. Oh, so so he was like, she was like yeah. at least three or four of him. Yeah. Okay. It was one of those couples. Okay. All right. Nothing wrong with that. You love who you love, man. Exactly. And, and you know, honestly, it was okay until their mother moved in. Oh, and God. The mom moved in, too? Yes. They both have the same mother? No. <laughs> I mean, honestly, <laughs> I, I don't that. know. I'm pretty sure it was his mom. Though. Okay. Fair. But she moved in, and... I just remember is that she would come over and ask us to use our phone because they didn't have a phone. Okay. And now, that, like, every so often, she's right. like nine times a day, like, I need to call the doctor. Yeah. Then, can they call me back on your phone? Yeah. She, I mean, she didn't have a phone. And then when she would ask her son to use her, her, his phone, she, he would say no for some reason <laughs> because she was crazy, dude. She was calling the cops all the time. Either way, story cut short she was crazy they would knock on our door like i work night shift at this time so you come knocking on my door at two o'clock in the afternoon thinking it's all good and gravy lady i'm sleeping you're what waking the, you up I'm like you're what like, the fuck do you want right. <laughs> go away be like i just want to know if i can use your phone mm, either way bad neighbor dude hated it do not ask people for anything yeah right. i've never I've never, ever, I think, went to a neighbor and been like, hey, you got some sugar? No. Or can I borrow an egg? I've Dude. never in my life done that. Maybe Nobody. like when I was a kid and my mom would be like, hey, run to the neighbors and see if they give us an egg. But that was like my mom and our neighbors were really close. Yeah. Like, yeah. But me, personally, never one time have I knocked on a neighbor's door other than to be like, hey, they gave me this in your, of your mail. Mm -hmm. That would be the only reason I've ever knocked on a neighbor's door. All right, now tell your killer your your killer neighbor story. Not the killer neighbor story, but the, the, your neighbor story that kills. <laughs> Maybe that's a bad way to put it. Tell that one, the good. Why one. wouldn't you just say tell your other one? Because it was a killer story, dude. It was a killer. Kill. It's a killer. Yeah. I already know the story, but they don't. So tell yeah. it. All right. So I had another neighbor. Same. She she lived across the hall from me. Um, and in this apartment, I was lucky, I guess, because I was the first apartment on a hallway. So if I would have had another neighbor on the other side, they probably would have all been the three worst neighbors ever. But I didn't have a neighbor on one side. The stairwell was behind me. Yeah. So this neighbor, she was she was a cute girl. She was all right looking. I yeah. talked to her a couple times. It got to the point where people would come to her door. Mm, prostitute. Not, not like that. It would have been better. No, I... And they would pound on her door. Sometimes upwards of 20 or 30 minutes, and they would scream her name, and I believe it was like her parents or somebody, because then she would open the door and scream at them, I'm fucking fine, or something along those lines, and then slam the door in their face. Mm. Obviously, they were worried about her. Mm. Come to find out, she ended up killing herself. Oh, my and God. And because one day, like... I mean, I'm not laughing because of that. I'm like, what the hell, man? Yeah, like, because one day, like, the coroner was out there with, like, the per the maroon body bag. Holy and shit, All the man. cops and, like... So, there was reason why they were pounding on her door. And so, I don't know if she killed herself or she drug overdosed. But either way, she killed herself. You know, one or the other. Who? Uh, like, I'm trying to think, does that make you a bad neighbor? I don't know if depression is... Why would that make me a bad neighbor? No, not you, her. I'm trying to figure out if that makes her no, a the, bad the neighbor. No, the people pounding on the door yeah, made but, her a bad neighbor. But she, I mean... She could open the fucking door immediately and said, I'm fine. <laughs> Why'd she have to fucking wait 30 minutes so I have to listen to her mom be like, Don! Don! Boom, 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 boom. I mean, J Jonas, they were kind of in the right, though, right? Yeah, they but that's were, why she's a bad neighbor because she made her parents worry and then disturb everyone else. Don't let I get it. Don't let your depression affect everybody else. <laughs> You're allowed to be sad. You're allowed to not talk to your family. But if your family comes to your goddamn door and bothers everyone else in the building for thirty minutes, that's you makes you a bad neighbor. I guess you're not wrong, Jonas. You're not wrong. It just sounds like a dick move. It to say does. It, it sounds like, like a dick move. <laughs> I'm telling like you. They, they were trying to save her life. Right. You know this. Right? I get it. Like, I didn't know that at the time. I just, I was like, I was like, why the hell are they always pounding on her door? And then all of a sudden when she was dead, I was like, oh. That's, all that's, of a sudden, when she was dead, I was like, "Oh, that's why they're pounding right, on her door." So we're gonna get off of this before we get canceled. Um, so this this brings me. To oh yeah, we didn't even talk about the story yet. Yeah, I was segueing it. <laughs> this brings me to my story. Okay. Of Mr. Benjamin Leyland, forty-seven-year-old Florida man. Uh oh, <laughs> you know it's weird. It's coming from Florida. Yes. Um, he was a bad neighbor. <laughs> 
Sounds like it. Very similar to. Did you have uh, bad neighbors in Florida? Very similar to your first <laughs> your first tale. Uh, he was playing loud music. Okay. Somebody came and knocked on his door. Okay. Said, sir, could you please, Mr. Leyland, can you please turn your music down? You're 47 years old. Why are you listening to loud music? It's like I'm deaf. No. <laughs> He's an asshole. Oh, okay. Fair. So Mr. Leyland began to get agitated with the man. You know, I mean, don't tell me what to do. You're damn right. <laughs> you ain't my, my daddy. House. You ain't my daddy or right. my boss. Right, exactly. The only two people tell a grown man what to do. So Mr. Leyland decided to grab his two and a half foot sword off the wall oh, Jesus. and chase this man down the street. How how far? Um, Far enough where I guess the man was able to contact the police. He escaped. There were no injuries. But uh, Mr. Leyland is also fav- facing criminal threatening charges. Have you ever been chased down the street with a sword by a neighbor? Aha. Uh-huh. Which neighbor is oh, worse, Jonas? Damn it. You pick in the comments below who's the worst neighbor. Crazy mom, f- fucking over loud music, uh, s- suicidal? Or <laughs> the, the, the sword chaser? Dude, I think. I think, like, the sword chaser. Yeah, I don't want to be threatened. I well, want my well wife here's to the deal. Like, loud music's bad enough. I never went and knocked on their door because it, like, I'm able to, like, zone that ish out. Like, I, I just went in the living room and didn't hear it as much. But if I, like, it never got to the point where it was, like, to the point where I had to go knock on their door. You didn't go to the rental office, fam? Yo, I go to the rental office quick as a bitch. Oh, do you? And say, yeah. hey. Or I'll just go and knock on their door, man. And you know I love confrontation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always Dude, looking for a I'm little about to confrontation. Go, go tell the, the fucking office here that. People are letting their dog shit all over the grass in front of the Crazy Town compound. I'm like, bitch, there is literally bags across the way that they give you to pick up your dog shit. And you're dropping the deuce right in front of my door? Are you talking about the little tree lawn area right here? Yeah, dude, people are shit. I think those are strays, fam. There's not stray dogs. They're stray cats. But they ain't got turds the size of that. Yeah, that's a good Anyways, point. whatever. <laughs> Son of bitches, so, dude. dude. Tell just call me. A, just call a homeowner's association, Joe. Yeah, dude, I will. I'll be like, listen, they left their trash cans out all night. Better you know, give them a citation. You know what, Jonas? Dude, if I you hate homeless associations. Set, set your deck chair out there, and you can find out <laughs> who the culprit is, dude. I will, and then I'll yell at them <laughs> very passive-aggressively. Be like, I think there's some bags across the lawn over there. And they'll be like... <laughs> Which- you can just have like a pitcher of Country Time Lemonade and a bag of Werther's Originals. <laughs> Don't right. let your dogs poop them. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn kids in their feces. They're going to set the poop on fire outside our door. <laughs> Get it, old man. Oh, I stomped on the shit. Um, oh, my God. There's how a- do you feel about like eating foods out of a bag? Like what bag the- food. <laughs> Where did this come from? I got a story. It's a oh, segue. Oh, we're doing two? Okay, I didn't know we were doing two stories. Yeah, two one. stories, man. All right, if we fine. fit oh, it. All right, great segue then. <laughs> Jonas, what the hell, dude? How? Yeah, it's fine. We eat okay. foods out of bag, fast food, dude. When right. was the last time you had a potato chip? Oh, uh, dude. Exactly. Like, here's my question, though. Is there certain foods that you would not want to eat out of a bag? Ice cream. <laughs> um... <laughs> Just like, <laughs> so okay. oatmeal, anything <laughs> wet. I don't want to eat <laughs> soup in a bag. I don't want to eat emotions or like <laughs> suspensions out of a bag. Okay, bagged um, milk, Canada. You doing it wrong? What? Canada has bagged milk. Oh, I thought you said black milk. I was like, where the fuck are you finding black milk at? I was like, damn. Af- <laughs> I African, want some of that. African cows. <laughs> Freaking cows. I don't know. I'm not allowed to say that. I can say it, though. <laughs> he said it for us. Um, so I don't know how long this has been going on, but because I have some older stories. <laughs> so Dunkin' Donuts. No. Uh, you know, they, they got out of the donut game. Well, not out of it, but they've expanded on the donut game a long time ago. They got breakfast sandwiches. They got all sorts of stuff. They got like a donut sandwich, don't they? Or is that KFC? Uh, I don't know. Right, but way. so they've decided, you know, what goes better with breakfast than bacon. So now you can order a bag of bacon from Dunkin' Donuts, a and it bag. comes in like one of those like small fry bags from McDonald's. You get eight half strips of bacon in a bag that you so, can just munch on like a snack. So it's four strips of bacon, four full strips, so eight halfies. 
But but <sighs> it's high end bacon. They say it's oh, smoked, okay. It's smoked with cherry wood and it's covered in a brown sugar, black pepper, sesame. Motherfucker, that's what it says on the box that you got from Cisco. <laughs> right. Right? That's what it says on it's the It's all box. that prefab shit. It doesn't even yeah, look like bacon. Exactly. <laughs> but I don't know how I feel about dude, this. Dude, I would eat it just because I love bacon. Would, see, and I don't like bacon, but I'm not <laughs> opposed You're like, Wait to the idea of this being but, the, the venue that it gets to but, a person. <laughs> but okay, it made me think. What if like you went there and you're like, and they just like gave you like a sausage patty in a bag? Would that be, would that be mm, cool? A it, ham steak? Well, see, sausage is damp. Bacon can be damp. I mean, I'm sure they're baking it. Oh, there's more grease in sausage, so it would be like a soggy paper mess. But then I'm just thinking about like how uh, McDonald's does their hash browns, which I think is like the ideal way. And that's what I'm thinking they put the bacon in, something like that. Or like yeah. a small fry container, you know. But then I just think of you having like a little a, a pouch, like a pocket protector full of bacon, and you just end up just like... Drinking dude, it, like. I want to do it. If I had like a shirt with a with a pencil pocket on it, dude, shove that bacon keep, in there. Just keep bacon in there, <laughs> well, dude. Oh I love bacon. You have like, an oily nipple. <laughs> it's every day of my life, sir. Every day of my very oily life. nipple. But yeah, dude, I don't know. Like, it, it, then I was like, yeah, what if they were just like, here's some Canadian bacon <laughs> in a little paper sleeve? You, I'm like, that's just ham, dude. I know, but here's a ham steak in a in a <laughs> ham. <laughs> Steak, just a ham steak roll up. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, sir. Me and, uh, me and a guy that you know, That's we used to joke gross. about fucking making ham plates. Like we would have a restaurant, and all, all the food would be served on ham steaks. <laughs> And like so, then when you got done eating your food, you had a whole ham steak to eat too. That's not bad. I know, idea. right? Yeah, Serve a, a real steak on a ham steak. That's not a bad, just like have like cutting boards and then just put the steak on there and then like put the, yeah, that's not a bad idea. It's all flavor with ham. I wouldn't eat it there, right, but it's would. a great, it's a you good eat, idea. You like, get like breakfast served on a ham steak. Oh, dude, you can just cut into your own dish. <laughs> right, dude, it's on a cutting, right? Yo. That, dude, if, if one of you motherfuckers steals the ham steak, ham plate <laughs> idea. The ham um, steak restaurant. Copyright in this ish on today's episode. You can't copyright just by saying I'm copyright. But we have proof that I knew it did it first. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, dude. That's a good point. We all knew everybody listens to the Crazy Town podcast. So, uh, just a sack of bacon, huh? Damn. All right, I guess that's the way the world is going. I wonder how much they charge for it. What would be I a imagine. fair price for <clears throat> four strips of bacon? I don't know, like two dollars, a dollar ninety nine for a sack of bacon, <laughs> dude. If that was the case, I would always have a sack of bacon. <laughs> no. I don't like brown sugar on foods very much, so I don't know, and like black pepper. I don't know if I would dig it. I don't know. It's it's definitely like a flavor that they internally tested, and they were like, "This is the most popular flavor." Of well, bacon. it's it's th- basically what it, the article said is it's basically the same bacon that comes on one of their breakfast sandwiches. And now they're just like selling it like in, uh, a, in, a, in a paper thing too, instead of like you know what I mean. So it's already something that they have. And right. And they're just like, oh, we'll just order like eight extra cases and serve and give you a, it in a bag instead of on a sandwich. We got to start moving keto, this bacon. Dude. It's because of keto, I bet. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> they just put point. like an egg patty and some, and some I bacon. I was going to say like, what are they just going to start selling like the egg sheets? That's <laughs> Sheets of egg. Go a sheet of egg and bacon for two ninety nine. <laughs> It's like they just roll the bacon up in the egg and you can just right. eat it like an egg taco. Right. Mm-mm-mm. Just sell me the donut I can make at home or something. Yeah. Sell me the dough. and. What other thing do you think would be good if we put it in a bag to eat? <laughs> what other thing? Yeah, like what could we get that like doesn't come? You're asking me to innovate at this at Yeah, this I want hour? you to be an innovator. I woke up 30 minutes ago. Well, that's the best time to innovate. You got sleep brain. Oh, my God. Um, I don't know. Lube. A lube in a bag? Yeah. <laughs> like an open-ended bag? Not an open-ended bag. Well, yeah, yeah, you have to be able to take things out of it. Lube does come in a bag, right? I mean, I guess you could just take your hand, your arm, and just dip it in the bag of lube. And <laughs> just, <laughs> no, just go then, to town. You, know, you apply it evenly Dude, to whatever you needed to go on to. I've looked up <clears throat> buying like an industrial barrel of lube. To Why do, like... the fuck <laughs> would you be looking up? 
an industrial barrel of lube. To have lube wrestling. Why? To fill a, to fill we a, are not wrestling in to lube. To fill a kitty pull up with lube. And no, dude. People. I'm telling you. I don't know. I'm just being an asshole. For the fifth time, we are not going to lube wrestle me and you. It's not happening. <laughs> it's not, dude. Why you got to ruin my dreams? I'm just, it's not going to happen. You even you even bought me a little leotard. <laughs> I got Kurt Angle singlet. <laughs> I'm not wearing <laughs> it. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, dude. I'm I not feel wearing like you're crushing it. my dreams. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're like, sorry to hear that. All I have to say is I'm sorry that your dreams are crushed. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like most food comes in bags because it's just cheaper to, to transport. But bacon in a bag is a new one for me. I would eat it. But, you know, honestly, who, am, who are we to get on bacon in a bag when beef jerky comes in a bag? What's Whoa. the difference? Whoa. Yeah. Mine one, well. has a, one can seal and one doesn't? I mean, but it's a single serving. If it was a single <laughs> serving of jerky? beef jerky, I'd yeah. be... I can get Single it. serving jerkies. <laughs> no, that that will never work. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, basically, they sell you like an ounce for nine dollars anyway. That's basically mm -hmm. a single serving. Mm -hmm. It's like three pieces of jerky. There's more bag than jerky. Right. Absolutely. Just like take a napkin and sop all the juice out of the. <laughs> what kind of juicy jerky are you eating? I, I ain't never why, had juicy jerky. Why don't they make wet jerky? Because the whole point of it is that it's dehydrated. <laughs> Which is the anti-wetness. So if it was wet jerky, it'd just be meat. It'd just be raw meat. Because that's what time. jerky is. Jerky is raw meat that's dehydrated. It's raw? I thought they cooked it. Well, they they use like a salt smoking like solution sort of thing. It's like smoked and salted or whatever. Yeah, dude. It's essentially just like, it's not like cooked. It's disgusting. Yeah, dude. It's Yeah, I eat it all day though. <laughs> Yum, dude. Jerky's my jam. So, all right, Josh. you shattered all my fucking dreams about the lube wrestling. Lube I, guess, wrestling. I guess I'm done with today's episode. Yeah, there's no wet jerky. No, <laughs> there's no lube wrestling and no wet jerky. Only dry jerky from here on yeah, out. Yeah, at least we can try to be good neighbors, Jonas. All right, we will be. So you gotta stop pounding on the wall <laughs> before you go you and moaning stop. into the wall every night. You gotta stop aggressively masturbating. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> can't stop. Won't stop. To boys to men. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Wait till the water runs dry is my favorite tune, dude. Ew. <laughs> but that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to subscribe on uh, YouTube or on Spotify. What the hell is wrong with you? Get over to the YouTube. Or on iTunes. Right now. All of it, dude. All three. I mean, YouTube especially, though. Because it's free. Yeah. You have to pay for Spotify and iTunes. Well, not yeah, really. Yeah, and we don't get a, a cent of that. Yeah, we don't get no monies, but... Yeah, make sure you do that. But uh, we'll catch you on the next one. For now, for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. We are out yeah.